using elimination and substitution are the only two methods to solve system equations. There is a third one that's graphic method. So here in this question, we will solve the system equation using both elimination and substitution. Let's get started. Okay, elimination is just like its word is said. Eliminate means get rid of. Okay, so we needed to figure out which variable we want to get rid of. It doesn't really matter which one we choose so long we pick one and stick with it. Okay, the way we get rid of a variable is to match the coefficient to be completely opposite of the one you're choosing. So in this case, we can either do y or x. It doesn't matter. If you want to do x, you want to multiply by 3, then it will be opposite of minus 3 here. If you want to do y, then I would multiply by minus 2 of the whole thing, then that would be opposite of this 2. So let's just pretend that we picked this one. It doesn't really matter, but um, let's see. So in this case, I'll do minus 2 on both sides. So I have a system equation of minus 2x minus 2y equal to minus 100. And that becomes my new equation over here, multiplied by minus 2. It's a good idea to write a minus 2 on both sides, so on the test you don't forget I accidentally just did a minus 2 multiplication on one side. So if you have written down on both sides, chances are you forgetting it's, it's slim. Here, here well, let's copy the second one here. Okay. Now we're going to add those two together, and those two cancel. So I have a minus 5x is equal to minus 100, then x is equal to 20. That's a pretty easy one. From here, substituting back in that x plus y equal to uh, 50, so of course y is equal to 30. Okay, that's method one. Method two should give you exactly the same thing. Now method two is actually called a substitution. Uh, to substitute the verb means to pretend someone is not there and to step in, okay, step in to replace. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Okay, we're going to step in one variable and replace the other one. So for this case, we have x plus y equal to 50. And the easiest one I, is to do is I can replace, say, x equal to 50 minus y. So every time I see x, I'm going to write 50 minus y instead. It's like you have substitute teacher. Okay, when you substitute teacher come in, your regular teacher is not there. And for having gotten this one, I'm going to do minus 3x instead of x. I'm going to put a 50 minus y okay, plus 2y equal to 0. This is my second equation. Now again, substitute means to step in and replace. And in this case, we're choosing to replace x with this equivalent of 50 minus y. And how did I get that? I grabbed the one of the equation I solved for one of the variable. Okay. Now let's open this up. I have a minus 150 plus 3y plus 2y equal to 0. And 5y is equal to 150. So y is equal to 30. Okay. Let's push it up a little bit. Okay, y equal to 30. And then because x plus y equal to 50, of course x equal to 20. So both of them give you the same answer. All right? Have a confident day.